Today is Wednesday, May 13th, and this is our word problem of the day. Mila had 50 cents until she decided to spend two nickels on a yo-yo. How much money does she have left? First, we're going to circle the important numbers. So 50 cents is important. That's written with a dollar sign and a decimal, but you could also write it like this, 50 cents until she decided to spend two nickels. So that's another important number, two, on a yo-yo. All right, so those, we did circle the important numbers, but that's not gonna help us because we're not gonna be dealing with 50 cents and two. We need to make these numbers so that they're able to be worked with together. So keywords, that's where we're going to get that. Okay, so had, that means it. she had it in her possession, it was hers. And another keyword is spend. That means she's getting rid of some, but here's another important keyword, nickels. Nickels are worth five cents. So she had two nickels. That's really important to know that it's a nickel and to know the value of a nickel. All right, um, how much does she have left? That's kind of telling us that we're going to be subtracting. So that's another important keyword. Underline the question, how much money does she have left? All right, so if we set it up in our read, write, draw, we read it and we found out that she had 50 cents and we could set that up as a number bond. She had 50 cents and she spent two nickels. So we're going to have three things here, five cents and five cents and then how much is left. All right, so minus on the lines plus in the middles. So the first thing we could do is we could add these two. So five plus five is 10. You know that because of counting by fives. If you needed to prove it to yourself, you could just prove it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Bundle that up because there's 10 of those. Bring it over here. Oops, and then we have one 10, zero ones. So that's 10, so now we could build another number bond. She had 50 cents. She spent two nickels, which we learned was 10 cents. How much was left? So minus on the lines, plus in the middle, 50 cents minus 10 cents. So 50 minus 10 equals 40. And if we needed to prove that to ourselves, we could do it like this. 50 would be one, two, three, four, five, minus 10, minus just one 10, and then we have four tens and no ones left over. All right, so that's our answer, 40 cents. She had 40 cents, we can just add that little cents. And down here, we will answer the question, Mila has 40 cents left. Capital, because it's a name in the beginning of a sentence, period at the end. I forgot to check off that underline the question and we answered in a complete sentence.